Before we can get started on the really fun stuff, that is putting apps together, we need to do a little bit of initial setup. So in this section, we're going to be installing a whole bunch of different programs. The first one we're going to install is Xcode. If you don't already have Xcode installed, no problem, it's really easy to get going. First, I'm going to open up my launch panel here and find my App Store app. Once inside of the App Store, I'm just going to search for Xcode on the top right, click on Xcode, and if you don't already have it installed right here, you'll see a button that says Install. So just go ahead and click it. Installing Xcode takes a couple minutes as it is a gigabyte or two large. So um, since I already have it installed, I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Otherwise, for you, uh, it might take you five or ten minutes to get going. Once uh, uh, Xcode is installed, we can go ahead and close the App Store. And the next thing we're going to do is install Node.js. Now, if you already have Node installed, uh, terrific. You can go ahead and skip forward a couple seconds. If not, uh, we're going to walk through it here really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my web browser, and I'm going to navigate to brew.sh. So uh, what we're installing here first is a package manager called Homebrew for OS X. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire link right here, and then go over to my terminal, paste it, and hit enter. In my case, I already have Homebrew installed, so it says, you know, hey, you don't need to install this. If you don't already have Homebrew installed, it's going to take a minute or two to get going. Next, once we have Brew installed, I'll go ahead and say brew install node. Again, I've already got node installed, so terrific. Um, no more need, work need to be done here. The next thing we're going to install is a package called Watchman. And Watchman is used by the React Native Package Manager as a part of building our React bundle, or the all the JavaScript that ends up in our app. To install that, really straightforward, we're just going to do brew install watchman and again for me it's something already installed if you don't have it installed just go ahead and um, you know wait it out so now one last step here we're going to install the react native project generator and this is going to be really easy to do all we're going to do is say npm install dash g react dash native dash cli And npm install takes a minute or two. This is going to install a tool onto our uh, computer here that's going to go ahead and allow us to generate any uh, React app that we want. So once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and generate our first project here. So we're going to say react-native init weekdays. And the first prompt that we get here says, okay, we're going to walk you through creating a new pro a React Native project, but uh, sure enough, there's really no setup to it. It's just going to go ahead and download some files, and off we go. So now that we have all this really tedious installing stuff uh, all done, I'll catch you in the next section. I'm going to start writing some real code.